as far as stretches goes, what you can do, this is sort of carrying on from the desk hack number one I did the other day. This, what you can do is while you're sitting in a chair, because you're in hip flexion, you tend to get tight here. Pretty easy stuff to go straight in to a hip flexion stretch, okay? You can even sit on your chair, all right? So sit on your chair and then just go into that stretch there. Stretch out your hip flexors. You can still type away, answer the phone, do your emails in that position. Make sure you switch on your buttock. Get a real big stretch through here. And this is fantastic. You can do stretching during the day at work and it gets you out of that sitting flex position there. And if you're doing that eight hours a day, which you shouldn't be anyway, it's a really nice stretch to relieve it. Now the next thing you can do, if you're getting a bit of patellofemoral pain from sitting, say you're recovering from a knee injury or you're a runner who does a lot of running, a lot of impact in your knees, you can do your quads. Grab your lumbar roll, throw it on the floor, okay, into here, knee down, foot up on the chair like that, and again, work on your emails, okay, so in that position, clench your buttock, and that'll really stretch the front, so you can do stretches while you're at work, okay, just a minute, maybe one to two minutes of that, both sides, and that's really going to help out, and you get that stuff done during the day. Um, third thing is your extension, so you want to work on reversing disc pressure, okay? So every time you stand up, you go to the toilet, you go to get a drink, whatever, work on the extension because the sitting is loaded. Even if you're in a nice position, okay, you're still loaded. So you want to reverse disc pressure from the back wall of the discs where they're going to herniate over time to the front, okay? So you're standing up and working on this. Now people at a standing desk don't need to do this as much. People who are sitting down definitely need to do it, okay? And it's something you can do, because let's face it, you're not gonna get down on the floor in the office and start doing McKenzie extensions. You're gonna have to probably do it in standing, and so you're working on this position here, 10 of these, and then sit back down, set your workstation up. Now, the beauty about standing up is it just resets you. So when you get back into here, Where's my trusty lumbar roll? Okay, see how you just lose things, they're just gone? Okay, so keep, put your name on it and try and make sure you keep it on your desk. There it is, found it. Into here, and you see yourself up, right and ready to go. Now, if you've done your hip flexors, they feel better, you've done your back, that feels better. So you're sort of feeling better at your workstation, you can carry on. The only last one I like doing at my desk is a glute one, and this is again, really pretty easy. Leg across here, and what I like to use is a little bit of your desk. Get that knee, if you can, under your desk, like that. And what you can do, if you look at my foot, is I can just raise my foot up and get an extra stretch. I can rotate and get that stretch here, and that's really going to work on my hip here and my glute. And that position there, what I can do is then just the stretch, lean forward, keep your back straight as much as you can so you really feel that through there and then work on that stretch there while you're working away. Okay, a minute to two, both sides, okay? And that's gonna loosen you up right through there as well because remember, you're sitting on your glutes too much and so they're gonna get really tight. So that's in a nutshell my desk hack number two. Get your workstation sorted, start doing your stretches. See you next week.